Hi, I'm Eric with Try Not To Break Anything, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to assemble the Gear Rombo Jr. This is a file that I created and I'm selling a license for on Thangs. And also, if you want a free version of this with my logo on uh, two of the pieces, you can go ahead and download that from Make a World. The link is gonna be in the description of this video. All right. So first things first, you're gonna go ahead and print the Gear Rombo Jr. And just a reminder, the Gear Rombo Jr. is gonna be printed in PLA. You're also gonna go ahead and want to print this tool. I went ahead and redesigned the tool recently uh, in order to help with assembly. And this can and should be printed in PLA as well. And lastly, of course, you're gonna also want to print the PETG clips and these must be printed in PETG. The PETG that I use in order to make these clips are gonna be linked in the description of this video, but I've been using the Elegoo Rapid PETG. That's been working for me. I haven't tried any other versions of PETG. So if you're still having issues for whatever reason after watching this video, try picking up some Elegoo Rapid PETG. Now that you have all of your pieces printed, let me go ahead and walk you through assembly. Now the important thing to notice when you go ahead and print out the Gear Rombo Jr. is that there will be marks on several sides of the core. You'll see that here I have one, two, three, and four. And then you'll also see an arrow pointing at the top. If you're printing with silk PLA or any kind of crazy pattern type PLA, it might be harder for you to see, but know that they are there. Also with the gears, you're gonna notice that I've also made it so that way there's a little engraving with a number and also an arrow pointing in the direction that's gonna be matching up with the core. If you can see the numbers of some of these gears, but not all of them, just know that two and four are always gonna be opposite to each other. So for example, here is the number two gear, and here is the number three gear. You'll see that these two do not match, so they're gonna be next to each other. Whereas these two gears do match, they are going to be opposite to each other like that. So let's first begin with the assembly. With your tool, you're gonna to go ahead and take one of the PETG clips and you're gonna place it inside, nice and firm, and it should stay inside of the tool. Now, for me, whenever I do my prints, I've always noticed that the core tends to have like more of an oval shape, which really makes the clip a lot easier to fit in. So what I like to do is I like to take the gears, which has which has more of a circular shape and therefore a little bit harder to place the clip in, I like to place the clip in there first. So with the clip inside of the tool, I will go ahead and insert the clip. And so what I do is I will kind of spin it as I push it down and maybe wiggle it forward and back like a rocking motion like that. Not, not this way, okay, because that would break the clip but this way and you just kind of rock it back and forth like that but pushing firmly in until it snaps in boom and so you'll see the first clip is inside of the gear and i'll twist it around to make sure that it's in you can kind of tug on it a little bit and that's not coming out okay you're going to do that for all four of the bigger gears Now with all four big gears with their clips inside, um, we'll go ahead and put that to the side. And now we're gonna take our smaller gears and we're gonna ensure that we have all the printed gears out, which in this case we do. You'll see that these two gears match each other. And so therefore they are going to sit opposite to each other, okay? 
And then these two gears match, so they're gonna sit opposite to each other. Let's go ahead and place the clips inside of those gears. Boom. All right, so you can see I actually made a mistake and it actually uh, compromised this clip a little bit. So what I always recommend that you do is you print more than the eight clips that are in the file, just to have extra ones. And if you make a, a mistake or the, the clip doesn't go in well, go ahead and just use a, a different clip now. Uh, don't try and use the same one because once it's been too bent out of shape, um, you know, it, it's pretty much compromised at that point. If you're having issues fitting it into the, the hole of the gear, what I sometimes do is, uh, while the clip is there, I just, with my fingers, try and pinch it just very slightly. I don't wanna go and cause a, a, a bend or anything, but just go ahead and give it, a, give it a little bit of a pinch to bring those two a little bit closer together, the two ends, like so, okay? And now I'll give it another shot with a different clip. And let's see if we can get it in. Boom, it snapped it. Let's do that for the rest of the smaller gears. All right, with all the clips inside of the smaller gears, we'll go ahead and begin the assembly process. All right, so what you're gonna do now at this point is I like to start with the larger gears first, and so I like to match the gears with the appropriate side of the core. Uh, each core is gonna have a logo, my logo at the top here, and the bottom, and that's where the arrows are gonna line up and point to, okay? I don't know if you can see that well here, but trust me, it's there. So the big gears go to sides one through four. And so you'll see, for example, the number did not print on this. So what I'll do is I'll put it to the side, try and find the matching number or matching gear for it, which is supposed to have a different number. I'll put it with that until I can find one number that I can find a side for. So you can see number two is different from three and one. And so you know that these are gonna be next to each other when we do the installation. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So this is the number two gear right here. I'm gonna go ahead and find number two, which is right here. And I'm going to attempt to line up this arrow here to the top of this logo where the arrow is on the number two. Now, the arrow is kind of hard to see, and I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but if all else fails, look at the pattern. You'll see that right there, that is the center of where this needs to align with the top of the, the core. So taking the number two right here, and we're gonna go ahead and put it into the spot and you should get a satisfying clip. Click, there you go. And you'll see that that's been installed. And so now I make sure that it's lined up with this little pointed uh, part of the gear right here. Let me see if I can point it right here, okay? To the core top. Now I'll take a side piece, which is gonna be one sitting to the side, okay, like that and I'm gonna start assembling it next to it. Also lining up where you can see the top of this pentagon. Not the, not the cog of the gear, but the top pointed part of the pentagon, right there. All right. 
right? So making sure that this is pointed to the top, that this little point is towards the center of the, the top of this core, and where the pointed top is towards the center, I will go ahead and start assembling. Let me see if I can show you that. Now we have two pieces placed on the gear rhombo. Okay, now we're gonna take the other gear that matches with this side, number two, and we're gonna assume that it is the number four gear. And we're going to place it here, same thing, line it up. You're gonna line up this point with this point, so long as it's in the center, okay? And we are going to place it in. And I'll, I will wiggle it around a little bit too. And just wait till I hear that satisfying click. There we go. Sometimes it won't click and that's okay. Um, it doesn't mean that you didn't install it correctly, but sometimes it has a nice satisfying click and you're good to go. Now you can start to see the round shape forming. We're gonna go ahead and put the final big gear on top here. And it should fit nicely into the grooves uh, of the cogs of the uh, gear. And we're gonna just kind of wiggle and place it in. And boom, nice little click. And we're good. You can go ahead and give that a spin now to kind of see how that is. And we're good. Bring it back to uh, that, that spherical shape okay, that you had before, and it should, the center should look like this. That's when you'll know you're ready for the small gears. So we're gonna turn it around, and we're gonna look at our smaller gears to see whether or not we have any numbers that we can actually read. So this one here, it's a little hard to read, but that looks like a six, okay? Sometimes the six and the eight look very similar, but guess what, that's okay. The six and the eight happen to be the same shape and pattern. So those are always going to be opposite to each other on the bottom. These two here are going to be opposite as well. So as long as you have one of these gears in the right number, okay, you should be okay with assembling the rest. So we believe that this is either a six or an eight, it's hard to tell. So I'm gonna either put it on six or eight on the core and I should be fine. So with this side, we are going to make sure that the smaller side, okay, which is right here, is going towards the center of the core. So we'll go ahead and make sure we're in that spherical shape, which it looks like we have here. And we're gonna do the smaller side onto the six, the six gear onto the six, all right? That looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip it in right now. Boom, we're in. Now, we'll get the one that doesn't look like the one we just installed, and we'll install that next to it. Remember, smaller side, smaller side of the gear is pointing towards the core. We have two pieces now. We'll go ahead and take this one and we'll go ahead and install it here. Boom, we have three. And then last but not least, we have the fourth piece. And boom, we now have all the pieces of the Gear Rombo Jr. put together. And we can go ahead and spin it now, and it should be perfect. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful for those of you who have purchased the licensed version of this model, uh, and those of you who have downloaded the free version. I wanted to say thank you guys so much for your support if you purchased it or even downloaded the free model of this uh, Gear Rombo Jr. Uh, I'm looking to put out more models in the future. And if you found this tutorial helpful uh, in installing this uh, Gear Rombo Jr., 
go ahead and leave me a comment or go ahead and uh, share the video or give it a like. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Take care.